Welcome to the first and hopefully last Fiscal Cliff The Action Bowl. Woo! Unfortunately, we're here pitting the middle class against millionaires because our congressman, Jim Gerlach, yay! I don't know about the yay, but Jim Gerlach is not standing up for the middle class. Unfortunately, we're here because they should have been negotiating and getting this settled a long time ago, but instead we're approaching what everybody's calling the Fiscal Cliff, which means that it is really a situation where it's the middle class over millionaires uh, that we're trying to, to uh, make sure that Jim Gerlach represents and understands. So we're going to play the football game. Uh, the middle class is dressed Woo! in red. Class. The millionaires dressed in the color of gold. They're uh, hoping to uh, get their goal, which is tax breaks for them. The middle class is hoping for uh, a deal which will protect the middle class, will protect Social Security, will protect Medicare, will protect unemployment benefits. But we'll see what happens. So, uh, middle class, it's your ball. Ready? <laughs> penalty! Penalty! <laughs> penalty! Bring it back! Middle class, bring it back, middle class. That was an illegal forward pass. You were a lineman. So the middle class gets interrupted by Jim Gerlach. The middle class was driving toward its goal, which was uh, tax breaks. The uh, tax increases, the Bush era tax breaks, were going to be uh, are going to expire at midnight tonight. And if that happens, then the middle class middle class uh, taxpayers will get an average twenty two hundred dollar a year tax increase. Thank you, Jim Gerlach, for raising the middle class tax rates $2,200 as they drove toward their goal. And the millionaires get to score again despite an illegal play that Jim Gerlach overlooked. Jim Gerlach's actions once again are going to result in two million unemployment, unemployed adults losing their benefits. Tonight, at midnight, two million Americans will lose their unemployment benefits. As a result of this, an additional one million uh, will lose their unemployment benefits in another 26 weeks. That means that three million Americans will have no income whatsoever Thank you, Jim Gerlach. All right, middle class gets the ball. You guys just scored seven nothing millionaires. Seven nothing millionaires. <laughs> get her, get her. Get him. Get him. Get him. He's down, he's down, he's down, he's down. The middle class is down. The middle Somebody class else is down. Oh, my God. Award them the ball. All right, uh, millionaires. And Jim Gerlach awards the ball to the millionaires for no apparent reason. This means that Medicare cuts will uh, take place. The Medicare cuts means that doctors will lose 27% of their payments, meaning they won't be able to cover their costs in treating Medicare patients. That means that many senior citizens and poor people will no longer have doctors because the doctors can no longer afford to cover them. Thank you, Jim Gerlach and the Fiscal Cliff. And another touchdown for the millionaires. Thank you, Jim Gerlach, once again. This means that the economy will be devastated if we go over the fiscal cliff. The estimation is that we'll lose 0.5% in gross domestic product this year. Unemployment will go back up to 9.1%, all because Jim Gerlach wants to protect the millionaires. Touchdown, millionaires, and the millionaires win. The millionaires win. The economy is devastated. 
unemployment, people lose their, their job, their, their unemployment benefits, and our taxes go up an average of $2,200. Thank you, Jim Gerlach. Thank you, GOP leadership. But the reality, folks, is that this kind of football situation doesn't have to happen. We can end all of this if Jim Gerlach and the rest of the Republicans in Congress will vote the right way tonight. There, there could be a vote today if Jim Boehner, if John Boehner will allow a vote in the House. So thank you, Jim Gerlach. Thank you, football players. Unfortunately, the middle class lost.